As the days go by, we get closer to discovering the mysteries hidden in the depths of the sea. It isn't just an illusion, but a reality. New findings of monstrous and anomalous creatures are recorded every year, along with unclassifiable beasts that cannot be related to any species in the archives that not only pose a mystery to science, although many of us believe we know the true origin of these creatures. Their home is in the deep waters, in the marine depths. That's why so many creepy apparitions have been reported in the last hundred years. It seems impossible not to think that something terrifying is hiding from our gaze, and to prove it, this time we are going to share the story of five giant sea snakes reported by veterans of the sea. We promise you that after meeting them, you'll have no doubt that we are unaware of the marine kingdom, although you'll also wish you never had to dive into it. Number 5. To meet the first great serpent that has frightened sailors of all ages, we must travel back to Norwegian 1729, when a Lutheran named Hans Paulsen Egeti set sail with his crew on a mission to present-day Greenland. This voyage was strange and full of dangers. Few had dared to take this route and almost no one knew the territory called Greenland. However, it was here that Egeti's beast was first recorded, a frightening sea monster so large that it managed to curl up on the main deck of the ship. Sailors spotted it on July 6 and described it as a snake with a long snout and broad fins that spat water like a whale. Its attitude was aggressive and it tried to sink the ship on more than one occasion, although it didn't have the strength to do so. However, it continued trying for two days and nights. The men defended themselves with everything they had at hand, but it wasn't enough. On the morning of the third day, the creature had disappeared although this wouldn't be the first time that a group of satyrs had encountered it. On the contrary, since then, that sea path was baptized as the route of a snake, because numerous boats encountered this creature and some were dragged to the bottom of the sea by it. However, when it comes to sea monsters with a thirst for blood and a love for destruction, the next snake on the list is unparalleled. Number 4 the next sea serpent looks like something out of a millennia-old prophecy, but sadly, it's a proven fact for the inhabitants of Scandinavia. Its origin dates back to 1522, when Olaus Magnus, a Catholic priest exiled from his Swedish homeland, described a grandiose, almost fantastic story that had great repercussions in this part of the world. According to what he wrote in his book, Historia de Gentibus, he came across a sea serpent that looked like a comet in the middle of his journey through this territory. It was like a prophecy that foretold the end of time. The creature was more than 22 meters long and its body had an intense scarlet color, as dark as human blood. In addition, it had a strength beyond that of any other creature, for it had the ability to curl itself around one of the ships accompanying Olos on his mission and sink it in a matter of minutes. For a long time, it was believed that this story was nothing more than a fantasy or that it was related to the existence of a strange creature that was already extinct. However, the reality has proven to be very different. In Scandinavia, numerous snakes of great magnitude and up to more than 60 meters long and 6 meters thick have been found. They usually live in caves and subway labyrinths thousands of meters deep. It has been almost possible to extract one of these creatures from the ocean. However, their existence isn't only real, but also reveals a hidden world that no one tries to approach. Of course, no one dares to actively hunt these snakes, and rightly so, but that doesn't mean there aren't those who are more than willing to do so, as you'll see from the next creature on the list. Number 3. One of the most famous and controversial sea serpent sightings was recorded on August 6, 1848, by the crew of the HMS Daedalus, a ship traveling around the Cape of Good Hope and St. Helena, when Captain Peter McCuho spotted a beast that looked like something straight out of some horror story. According to the official report, the creature was like a brown arrow sailing at an unstoppable speed, almost as fast as the ship, 
despite the fact that it was being driven by the force of a good wind. The sailors estimated that the snake was up to 18 meters long and 70 centimeters in diameter. It was difficult to estimate its size from a distance, but as it drew closer, the terrifying image became something none of them would forget for the rest of their lives. The beast came close enough that they could see even its throat as it tried to tear the ship apart. It had a thick jaw, full of sharp fangs and a yellow throat. Its eyes were completely red and if it had wanted, that snake could have coiled around the ship and sunk it to the depths. Of course, speed prevented it from doing so, as they slowly left it behind thanks to how fast the ship was going. Unfortunately, they didn't attempt to hunt it down which is very different from what a bishop did in the same situation in their next story. Number 2 The next sea serpent was recorded by Bishop Pontopidan in his book Natural History of Norway, in which he recounts a series of trips along the coasts of this region and numerous encounters with a beast that was considered to be one of the most terrifying creatures of the Norwegian seas for decades. Its first sighting occurred in 1746 when the bishop was on Captain John Root's ship. The creature emerged in the middle of the morning and before the uproar of the men, the captain ordered to follow it to give chase. The reality was very different. The creature went to meet him and after receiving a few cannon shots, it went berserk and wrapped itself around the bow, trying to tear the wood into pieces along with any man who fell into its jaws. According to testimonies, the creature was bleeding and dirty brownish blood emanated from its body. It had a head up of to 60 centimeters in the shape of a horse, its scales were gray, its mouth completely black and as big as a ship's sail, and its dark eyes were full of rage. The battle was long, but the serpent gave way and returned to the sea, swimming with undulating body movements and fatally wounded. Still, the beast didn't allow itself to be captured by the men. Captain Roots was after it for months, but he never crossed its path again. Months later, other sailors spotted it and nicknamed it the Main Snake due to its resemblance to a horse. As you can imagine, this monstrous serpent lost its reputation as a sea beast, as many sailors managed to confront it. However, the men who encountered South America's next sea beast weren't as lucky. Number 1 out of all sea serpents that have been recorded throughout history, the one detected by Captain George Drever in the year 1875 has no point of comparison. His has gone down in history as one of the most terrifying stories in the high seas and, undoubtedly, set a precedent that has kept many sailors visiting the coasts of South America under the strictest of guard. This event occurred 20 miles off Cape Picaro, on the northeast side of Brazil. According to the captain's log, the weather was fine, the wind friendly and the water calm, but it soon became the scene of a bloodthirsty event. At 11 a.m. that morning, the captain spotted a series of black spots on the water, advancing at good speed. Soon the spots transformed into the shape of an extremely long sea serpent advancing towards them, although halfway through, it changed its prey. The attack was violent and unexpected. The snake detected a sperm whale that emerged from the sea only to meet its demise. The beast coiled around the cetacean, as an anaconda would do with its prey, and began to sink its teeth into it with excessive force. It was a fight of giants. The sperm whale defended itself as best as it could. Both will dive deep into the sea and last two minutes hidden from the sight of the sailors, but then resurface in a struggle that ended up in the triumph of the sea serpent. Of course. That scene was frightening enough to fear the sea, but the most horrifying thing came later, when another sea serpent of equal size and length emerged from the water, and together they devour the carcass of the cetacean, leaving nothing but the animal's tail. Since then, the coasts of this country were feared by sailors between the 13th century and part of the 19th century, and although more than two centuries have passed, the story is still alive terrifying those who travel through these deep waters full of possibilities. Of course, these monstrous snakes are just the tip of the iceberg. All sorts of terrifying monsters live in the depths of the ocean, those same creatures that mankind has been encountering over the past centuries. However, there's still a lot to know and explore, and if you're willing to face what lurks at the bottom of the sea, 
then you'd better join us in the following videos to get to know the most terrifying beasts of the sea.